This is, this is a brilliant actually. So let me ask you this. Um, when I was in graduate school, my PhD advisor also told me the same thing. He said, listen, you literally are what you eat because you can take a look at the composition of cellular membranes and that will give you a very strong indicator of the composition of your diet. And the two of them are very closely linked with each other. And, um, you know, the, the composition of cell membranes changes very rapidly based off of dietary changes. It doesn't take three months for the cell membrane composition to start to change. It can happen within 24 hours, 48 hours, and you can start to see that change pretty dramatically. So when you're taking a, a blood test, just like you described, the, the membrane, correct me if I'm wrong, the membrane that's actually being measured are red blood cell membranes because that's the, that's the cell type that is, um, that is most predominant inside of that blood sample. Is it true that the composition of the red cell membrane closely matches the composition of your liver or brain or uh, muscle or vasculature as well? Yes. So there is an extrapolation that happens and a, a, a sort of a, um, a bridge that needs to be crossed to say, well, if that's my cell membrane composition of my red cells, it, does it correlate with the cell membrane composition of other cells? And the answer is yes. So they've done those studies and they have concluded that a red blood cell dry sample analysis of the membrane composition correlates as an effective a representation of the rest of the uh, tissues in the body. So it is a valid technique and therefore, um, you know, a useful tool. And as I said previously, uh, this was not something I was able to advise to my community several years ago because it was too expensive. And now it, the technology, uh, the testing, the volume of testing has now reached a point where, uh, you know, the volumes of scale has made this more affordable. Right. And, um, you know, there are in just the company uh, that I use, uh, they're doing thousands of tests a week. So, I mean, the, uh, this is why the, the, it's become more affordable. Um, so, yeah, so uh, typically uh, the red blood cells completely turn over within four months. And so you can do a test and then test again in a four months period and then be able to have almost a, well, literally a complete new yeah. Set of blood right. cells to compare with how sure. they are now compared to uh, the ones uh, previously.